हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज चिन्मय देशपांडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू सॉल्यूशन ऑफ ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन वी विल सॉल्व अ फर्स्ट न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ यूलर्स मेथड सो द क्वेश्चन इज यूजिंग यूलर्स मेथड फाइंड एन अप्रॉक्सिमेट वैल्यू ऑफ वाई करस्पॉन्डिंग टू एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट वन एंड एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू एंड वी हैव अ फंक्शन दैट इज डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस वाई स्क्वेर वेन वाई इक्वल टू वन वेन एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो सो आई विल राइट इट एज वी हैव अ गिवन फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई विल बी इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस वाई स्क्वेर एंड इट इज मेन्शन दैट वेन एक्स जीरो इक्वल टू जीरो y0 जीरो इक्वल टू वन यू कैन से दिस इज युअर गिवन थिंग और दिस विल बी युअर इनिशियल एप्रॉक्सिमेशन नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड इट आउट आंसर फॉर वाई ऑफ पॉइंट वन वॉट विल बी द वैल्यू एंड वाई ऑफ पॉइंट टू वॉट विल बी द वैल्यू सो वी विल सॉल्व इट स्टेप बाय स्टेप स्टेप नंबर वन और इटरेशन वन वी हैव टू फाइंड इट आउट वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई ऑफ पॉइंट वन so i will write it as as it is given when x0 equal to 0 y0 will be equal to 1 so when x1 equal to point 1 what will be the value of y1 that we have to determine first step is we have to calculate h that is step size so what is the formula of h or step size x1 minus x0 that is Point one minus zero, which will be equal to point one. Now we have to write a formula that is y one will be equal to y of point one will be equal to. Now what is the formula? Y zero plus h into f of x zero comma y zero. So let me substitute all the values. Now we know that what is your function f of x comma y will be equal to what? X square plus y square. Now it is expected to find f of x0 and y0 because it is mentioned in a formula so just what you have to do in your function replace x equal to x0 and y equal to y0 so what is the value of x0 it is 0 0 square what is the value of y0 1 square so you will get answer of f of x0 comma y0 will be equal to 1 so therefore substitute you will get answer What is the value of y zero? Y zero will be equal to one plus what is the value of h? It is point one. And what was the value of f of x zero comma y zero? It is one. So if you calculate, you will get answer as one point one. Means at the end of iteration one, you will get answer for y of point one, which is equal to one point one. So this will be a first step. Now in a step number two or in a iteration two. we have to determine what is the value of y of 0.2 now please remember whatever answer we will get at the end of iteration 1 or in the step 1 that we have to use as a initial approximation for step 2 means if you observe in a step number 1 we took x0 equal to 0 y0 equal to 1 which was initially given here in the numer numerical but in a step 2 now we will consider initial value as what y of point 1 will be equal to 1 point 1 i can write it as as this will be your initial approximation so from this i can write it like this when x0 equal to point 1 y0 equal to 1 point 1 so when x1 equal to point 2 what will be the value of y1 that we have to find it out so again i am going to write formula y1 equal to y of point 2 equal to y0 plus h into f of x0 comma y0 so let me substitute all the values now what is y0 here it is 1.1 then what will be h if you see h is nothing but point 1 okay i forgot to find it out here h h will be equal to what it will be equal to x1 minus x0 which is equal to 0.2 minus 1 which will be 0.2 minus 0.1 which will be equal to 0.1 now what is your function x0 square plus y0 square so let me substitute all the values 
point one. What was your value of x zero? It was point one square plus one point one square. So when you do a calculation, you will get answer for y of point two, or you can write y one will be equal to y of point two equal to. Do this calculation on a calci, then you will be able to write answer as one point two two. Let me check answer once. Otherwise, it might be a mistake. Point one square plus one point one square into point one plus one point one. You will get one point two two two. So this will be a final answer of a y one, or we can say y of zero point two. So this is what is a simple question based on Euler's method. It might be asked for five or six marks. If you have any doubt, please feel free to ask. Thank you for watching video.